Hello and welcome. I've been asked before about the performance of MoveIt compared to other locomotion systems. So I've set up a very basic test example here. So you can see there are 100, uh, 99 player starts just hovering in the air. And if I hit play, it's going to spawn a whole lot of characters. So these characters are spawned by the level blueprint by taking each player start and just spawning a character. So if I spawn the third person character, we can use that as a basis. And it also gives them a player controller. And all that does is make them run forward. Okay, so now if I just go play, now I'm recording my screen as well, which uses a lot of resources. So the third person template, we're getting about 75 FPS. So if I switch it with the ALS character, And hit play. We're getting about 33, 34 FPS. And then if I switch it with the Move It character, we're getting about 56 FPS. So it does take a hit, but here's the thing Move It has pretty aggressive uh, level of detail. Tool. So if I open up the animation blueprint, or even the character, I can lot out a lot of the systems that are performance hungry. So for this test, Move It actually has uh, physical materials that spawn scuffing effects every time it touches a surface. So I've removed those because it would give an unrealistic impact. And these are lotted out as well. So in conclusion, Move It performs about probably almost twice as well as ALS in this specific scenario, but with characters being spread out and proper loading applied, Move It will be significantly more performant than ALS. But it is not a free locomotion system in terms of performance, as such a thing doesn't exist. Compared with the third person template, it has a little bit of an impact on the performance. But you can still have a large amount of players performing well. So since I'm in the editor, since I'm recording, the impact is, well, the resources are being eaten up a lot. Move it is also a very new system that is constantly being updated and performance updates will be included at some point, hopefully in the near future. So thank you for watching.